This is the castle of Noggin the Nog. Noggin the Nog lived here a long time ago. Noggin the Nog was in his castle. Queen Luca was with him. It was Noggin's birthday. There were many presents, but the presents were not all for Noggin. On his birthday, Noggin liked to give presents to all the boys and girls in the town. He gave them trumpets. He gave them drums. He gave them whistles and harps. He gave them all things to make music. Noggin and the boys and girls walked through the town. They played music as they walked. They played music in all the streets as they walked down to the harbour. At the harbour, the boys and girls saw their mothers and fathers waiting. Noggin led the boys and girls on to their big boat. They took the boat to the middle of the harbour, where all the people could hear them. Then the boys and girls played a tune. The tune was called Noggin's Happy Birthday Tune. The boys and girls made a loud noise playing Noggin's happy birthday tune, when suddenly the boat was lifted up out of the water. It was lifted up by a whale. The whale smiled, but Noggin was angry. He said, Please put us down. We are playing music. The whale put them down. Noggin said to the boys and girls, Let us take the boat to the other side of the harbour, away from that silly whale. So they took the boat over to the other side of the harbour to get away from the whale. The mothers and fathers walked round to the other side of the harbour. They sat on the wall to listen. All the boys and girls stood up in the boat to play Noggin's happy birthday tune. The boys and girls made a loud noise playing Noggin's happy birthday tune, when suddenly the boat was lifted up out of the water. It was lifted by a whale, the same whale. It lifted the boat high in the air and splashed them all over. Noggin was very, very angry. He said, you are a very bad whale. You must go away from here. You must go now, at once. The whale looked sad. It swam away to the harbour gate. The harbour gate was narrow. The whale did not swim out to sea. It stopped in the harbour gate. It stopped and shut its eyes. The harbour master was angry. That whale must not stay there, he shouted. The fishing boats cannot come into the harbour if that whale stays there. Look, shouted the harbour master. The fishing boats are waiting. Move that whale now at once. How shall we move the whale? asked Noggin. Bring some long sticks, shouted the harbour master. Bring some long sticks and push it away. That was no good. They tied a rope to the tail of the whale and tried to pull it away with a boat. That was no good. They tried to lift the whale out of the water, but that was no good. In the end, they knew that they could not move the whale. We must wait until it goes away by itself, said Noggin. The boys and girls wanted to play some more music. I think I know what the whale wants, said little Knut, who was Noggin's son. I think the whale wants a present, a present like you gave to us, something to make music. Ask the whale, said Noggin. Do you want a present, whale? said little Knut. Do you want a present like Noggin gave to us? 
something to make music. The whale seemed pleased, very, very pleased. What can a whale play? asked Noggin. It cannot play a trumpet. It cannot play a harp. It cannot play a whistle. How can it play a drum? I will make something for the whale, said Olaf the Lofty. Olaf the Lofty was a very clever man. He said, I am very clever. I will make something for the whale to play on. Olaf ran to the fish market. There he found a strong empty barrel. Olaf ran to the bell yard. Bell maker, he said, bring me some bells. Bring me some little bells for the whale. Why does the whale want bells? asked the bell maker. To play music on, of course, said Olaf the Lofty. They took the bells and the barrel, some rope and some pieces of iron. They ran to the harbour as fast as they could run. Olaf took his hammer and some nails. He nailed the bells and the iron onto the barrel. Then he tied the rope to the top of the barrel and let it down into the water. The whale knew what it was for. The whale pushed the barrel with its nose. Cling, clang, clong, cling, clang, clong, all the bells rang. The whale smiled at Noggin. It smiled at the boys and girls. Then it pushed the barrel with its nose and swam happily out to sea. As the fishermen sailed their boats into the harbour, Noggin and the boys and girls watched the whale swim away. Goodbye, whale, they shouted. Goodbye. Cling, clang, clong, went the whale's bells. Cling, clang, clong. Cling, clang, clong. Cling, clang.